Energy, to me, is always going to be around. Energy demand is only going to increase with increased population and you know, increased electrification of everything we do. So energy is important. You're always going to need it and have it. There's a huge global interest in renewables and geothermal, to me, has huge untapped potential. My name is Cindy Taff. I am CEO of Sage Geosystems. Yeah, so my background is oil and gas. So I left Shell at the end of 2020 with over 35 years in the oil and gas industry. My last role at Shell was VP over their global unconventional wells organization. But my partners, Lev Ring and Lance Cook, had been recruiting me for several months to come work in geothermal. And so I basically joined Sage about a week after I left Shell. Geothermal is a lot like oil and gas. You're drilling a well bore into the ground to access a resource, but in this case, that resource is heat and not fossil fuels. SAGE is pursuing the lower temperature range in 150 to about 250 degrees C. We're doing that because we want to deploy geothermal now. We want to use off-the-shelf oil and gas equipment, technologies, people, and pursue it now. You're looking for the temperature, you would drill a well, you would create an artificial reservoir, and you would use that artificial reservoir to basically harvest the heat from the earth. Now the difference or the uniqueness of SAGE is that we are actually innovating and optimizing both in the well and in the power plant design. So our background in oil and gas tells us that you have to optimize that system together in order to come up with a cost effective and quite frankly, a cost competitive solution to solar, wind, and natural gas. Yeah, so we've got basically three very focused deliverables for 2022. The first was to build a system that we could model our geothermal power output. So we call it GeoTwin. So it's based on oil and gas processes such as managed pressure drilling. That has been built. The second deliverable was the test of our heat route downward fracturing technology in a well in Star County. That was concluded in April of 2022, just a few months ago. And then the third deliverable will be later this year. It's our CO2 turbine that we're building with the Southwest Research Institute in San Antonio. The metal is being cut as we speak, and we're actually putting together the skid to test the turbine, and we'll be testing it kind of in the December time frame of this year. It would be nice if the major oil and gas companies got into the game, but if they don't, we don't see that as a deterrent. We think the end users could actually play a huge role. So, you know, data centers, obviously greening the grid. Another huge end user would be the military because the military needs secure energy that's not dependent on the grid. So what surprised me is, I guess it's the untapped potential of leveraging oil and gas skills. We can basically teach how to drill wells more efficiently and effectively and just use our performance management skills. You're gonna have to really scale up like we did in unconventional. So those skills for scaling up, including walking rigs and multi-well pads and how do you leverage the supply chain, all of that will really make a big impact on future geothermal performance and cost.